Hi my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your June the 18th until the 25th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for June I will be doing a giveaway and I'll be choosing three or sorry I'll be choosing two winners. Each of the winners will get to win a free reading from me so if you're interested in entering the giveaway there are a couple options. You can either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below, you'll see two links, one to my Instagram, one to my Facebook, and you can follow me on either one of those. I am also doing, um, or yeah, sorry, I mean all the information as well for my personal readings, if this resonates, will be down below as well. All right, guys, so I'm just going to jump right in with your tarot. I see the Page of Cups and the uh, Two of Wands in the pre-shuffle, so there could definitely be a new project coming into play, um, an offer for a new project. It could be somebody that is offering you a partnership, somebody that has admired you for a long time. This could definitely be a water sign. So he's gonna add some spice and spark into your life. All right, Capricorns. Show me what Capricorns need to see from the 20, oh, from the 18th until the, okay. That is too many. I will take the first one, the second one. All right, show me what Capricorn needs to see from the 18th until the 25th. So right away, three major arcanas. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow, you guys. All right, so we start off with the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the Empress, and then we have Temperance and the Ten of Cups. So absolutely beautiful. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I also have Libra and Taurus here. I feel like, you know, things are going to be taking a huge turn for you. Things are definitely going to be turning out for the best. You know, this is you coming into a time where you're feeling a lot more confident in yourself. You're not feeling like one second you're confident and one second you're not. You don't have any of the self-destructive mode. It's almost as if you are just, you know, coming in into an energy where you are just kind of allowing what's meant to be to happen. There is a lot of abundance that is coming towards you, a lot of abundance that is going to come for you naturally, and I feel like it's because you are in the right place, and it is, you know, divine alignment with the Wheel of Fortune. That's all about faith. That's about your destiny, right? It is destined that you will be successful. It is destined that, you know, amazing things will attract to you naturally, but you just have to trust, you know, trust the universe, allow the universe to, you know, take a little bit of control. You know that you don't have to control everything, and um, I feel like that energy is really what you're going to be coming into. This is this could definitely be the start of a new relationship for you. There is soulmate energy here. So you could be dealing with a soulmate with the Ten of Cups here. Some of you guys could be, um, you know, finally meeting your soulmate. Others of you could be, you know, finally moving to the next level with the person that you're with. And for some of you, this is about moving in or having a child, especially with the Empress here. But the main energy is that things are definitely changing and it all has to do with divine, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance here. This is, you know, the divine timing of everything. The fact that, you know, sometimes delayed gratification is best. Sometimes, you know, things don't work out, but that's because there's something better ahead for us. And I feel like now is your time where all the things that didn't work out, you're going to see why they didn't work out. You're going to get the reasons and the answers and, um... It really looks beautiful, whether this is your career, whether this is a relationship new or one that is coming in. For the majority of you, I feel like this is a relationship that you've had to be very patient with. It's been a little bit rocky, you know, emotions have been a little bit everywhere, but I feel like now it's finally coming together where the point to the point where the both of you are on the same page, wanting the same things and planning for the same things with one another. Capricorn. So the Two of Wands did come out, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles. So the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, so definitely a new start with somebody that is going to lead to, you know, a partnership. This is, this is all about a partnership coming into place, you walking away from what no longer serves you and moving towards something that is more stable, somebody that is more stable, somebody that is, you know, very mature this could definitely be an older person coming into your life somebody that 
is more aligned with you and more aligned with where you're meant to be. This is somebody who, you know, probably has a really stable job. They could own their own business. They are a little bit, you know, into material things, but I feel like you're a little bit into material things as well. I feel like you both have, you know, that, that energy right now of abundance, you know, masculine and feminine energy of abundance. So I feel like, you know, this may be why the two of you guys end up meeting or things, you know, take a turn for the best if this is somebody that you're currently with. But there is a huge energy of, you know, realizing that, there are some things in your life that, you know, you thought you wanted and now you're realizing you don't want or you thought they were amazing and now you're realizing that they're not as amazing and these don't have to be, you know, relationships. These could be people that are your friends. This could be jobs. This could be, you know, anything within your life. It could have even been a new diet that you started. The Eight of Cups also talks about, you know, new lifestyle changes. So it's like you're going to be, you know cutting out and avoiding those things that don't serve you and really just focusing on creating a more stable life for yourself. I feel like this person that's coming into your life is definitely going to help you to create a more stable life. This person is going to be very stable. I feel like you're going to be able to learn a lot of things from this person. You have the similar, you have similar life plans, similar goals, similar dreams, similar aspirations as this person. So you're really going to be able to conversate with them. And I feel like this is somebody that's going to really push you to be the best you that you can be. And you are going to do that for this person as well. So definitely, you know, this person is really, um, it's really going to be a match for you if this is somebody new. Otherwise, you know, it's somebody that, you know, you're starting to realize all the great things about this person. You're starting to really, you know, get along in a better way, in a different light, see each other in a new light. Definitely a huge increase within your finances. If you've been wanting a loan, needing a loan, you're definitely going to get that. If it's to start a business, whatever it's for, I see an increase in money. Somebody is offering you money, offering you a position, a higher work position in order to gain more money. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles alongside with the... 10 of cups um so that's actually really beautiful so we have the six of pentacles you know money is all around like i was saying abundance between you and this person um money everywhere so six of pentacles the two of pentacles some of you may come into an, such a large increase of money some of you may be marrying into money and it's not that you are going to you know suddenly have a lot of money because you married this person even though that may be the case it's more that seeing you know all that they've accomplished and all that they've gotten is really going to help push you to realize that you can get what you want it's not that you you know necessarily thought that you couldn't it's that sometimes you felt like giving up but being surrounded by everything that you wanted is really going to help you to push you towards that and for some of you this could even just be a friend coming in to really show you that you really can have whatever it is that you want so the six and the two of pentacles we have the five or sorry the seven of wands the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, you're going to be overcoming, you know, you were at a time where you were struggling financially or struggling, you know, to communicate with this person. You felt like there was other people involved that you had to kind of fight off or you felt like this person was more focused on their work. For others of you, this is, you know, realizing that it doesn't matter how many people are in competition with you, how many people are doing the same thing as you. You have your own unique way of doing things and that is what's going to make you stand up above the rest. And instead of feeling you know, instead of being in a position where you're just kind of starting to do something or just starting with a certain mindset and then getting, you know, dropped down from that mindset because of certain things happening, you're going to be in a place where you're like, you know what, this is what makes me unique. This is what I have to bring to the table. I'm going to focus on me, where I'm going and how I can do the best that I can do at what I do. And I'm not going to worry about anybody else. And that ultimately is what's going to bring you towards this 10 of pentacles here. So definitely, you know, lots of money coming in for you, a very, very stable and abundant time for you. If you are with somebody and you are wanting to take it to the next level, I definitely see that happening, especially with the Empress here talking about children, 
you know, this is giving birth to either new ideas or actually giving birth. And if it's to new ideas, these are ideas that are going to land you in places where you are going to meet people that are going to push you to make a lot of money or just ideas in general that are going to push you to be the most abundant you that you can possibly be. But yeah, so that is what I have for you guys today or this week. Money is definitely a main focus for you. Having a committed relationship, um, you know, that's definitely coming in for you. This is something that is was probably unexpected. This whole week is definitely going to be filled with things that are unexpected. But I do see that you are going to be coming into a partnership that is really emotionally and financially and just, you know, secure emotionally physically within your souls you know you're just gonna feel like this is the right fit for you finally so that's beautiful i really hope you enjoyed this reading if it resonates and you would like a personal reading my information is down below i hope you guys have a beautiful week and i will see you soon bye my loves